A man who must donate blood in order to stay alive faces a dilemma when the service he relies on is stopped across the state. News 18's Holly Campbell reports why the Indiana Blood Center says they will no longer be accepting therapeutic donations. George Loader has a prescription, not for medicine, but to donate blood. Loader's blood contains too much iron, and his prescription is for monthly therapeutic blood donations. But when the Indiana Blood Center sent him this letter saying it no longer accepts therapeutic blood donations, he says he was shocked. It's real simple without the them letting the blood out, the iron in my blood will build up and clog up uh, the, like liver and kidney and you die. Indiana Blood Center Chief Medical Officer Dan Waxman told News 18 it's stopping the program July 1st due to a lack of funds. We have not charged uh, patients in any manner um, and so we were doing this as a service uh, to the patients and in this environment uh, we really can no longer provide a, a free service. Loader says if money's the problem he's willing to pay a little cash so he can live. I'm even willing to pay to get them to take it because there is no other place. We were not set up that way, and so we cannot bill patients for this procedure. We cannot. We don't have a mechanism to bill Medicare. Waxman says there are a number of blood conditions that require therapeutic donations as treatment, but he says most of the blood can't be used and has to be thrown away. Waxman says area hospitals used to perform the treatment, and he's hoping they'll pick it back up again. But now Loader says he's left with no options. I talked to the hospital and they don't take it. The doctors I go to don't take it, so they didn't give me any alternative that I know of. Loader says he has one more session left at the blood center, then he'll have to find a new place that accepts therapeutic donations. He says he may have to drive to Illinois to find a clinic that will take his blood. Holly Campbell, News 18.